Morning guys, Bondo here. We are at a job here. This big pole barn today that we're gonna work on. And uh, it's it's March, beginning of March. We got hired to do this. So this is a good, good weather pattern for New York State. It marks in New York State. But this barn is wet inside. He actually had some mushrooms growing in here, believe it or not. because there's no airflow or anything in here. So it's just kind of holds the moisture. And this back area, has got a lot of clay in it. It has some gravel, but there's also this clay dirt. It's really soft. It sticks to your feet and everything, especially over here. This is all really, you can see it's really muddy and clay. And then there's some standing water over here, all the way around here. This whole thing's gotta come up to the bottom of that skirt board. So it does have to be filled in, but I think we need to get this water out of here. So I got I got an excavator that's gonna bring some stone. And I got the Yanmar Mini here. And I got Kevin the Kubota. So we're gonna figure out how we're gonna get this water out of here. We're gonna definitely put some stone in there. We may have to put a pipe in there, or at least a pipe around the outside of this building eventually, because out here, you can see there's still a little snow. There's water. I guess it stays kind of wet in there. There's water laying here. There is a drainage ditch along here, kind of, so we may have to dig an exit line out of this thing going this way to get out to daylight. And there's standing water up in here so kind of everything's flowing down the hill. See all that wetness. So everything's kind of pitching this way and it's pulling up in the back of this barn. But then the grade drops this way. So when it drops that way, the front of the barn's pretty hard and dry. So that's what we're gonna probably end up doing is putting a pipe or something in here to get this drained out. Stay tuned. All right guys, so we started digging along this back here, like I said, and it's all, there's a lot of clay in there. You see all that clay. We haven't even got into the really wet area behind me in that corner. So we're just gonna keep digging along here, get all that clay out of there, and uh, some stone and some pipe, and uh, get that out of there so it'll drain. That's the game plan, I'm on the Yanmar. Got the ditching bucket, so got a nice wide swath going down through there. So we reached this corner. Mike's digging out all the clay underneath the board. And we got quite a pile of junk here. Chris is on the skidster, Kevin the Kubota. And he is uh, getting this stuff out of here. This is really nasty clay. What's that? Water. Spring? That's why we need the pipe. We found a water spring. Water running right in there. That's why we need a pipe in here. We got the, um, the homeowners running to get some pipe. I ran it by him to put a drain right down the inside of this thing. And uh, he liked that idea, so kind of switching gears. That wasn't the game plan, but uh, I think we'll be glad we did that with all this clay. Get this water out of here at least.
Alright guys, we're just cleaning up the rest of the clay dirt. We got everything dug out there that we wanted. So I'll show you what we did. We started up in this corner. stone too so that that whole thing just pulls water. That's how we did it. Chris is just finishing up cleaning up the rest of this mud mess. You see how wet this is. It's going to be a lot better. Probably right there. That's good. Got a load of gravel guys. We're going to put some gravel down in the bottom pack it into that clay and then we will uh, put our pipe with the stone. That's some good gravel. Doesn't look like number four. <laughs> Item four. Item four it's called. It's brushed up. Yeah that's item four. That's what they call this stuff, item four. Not number four, number four would be. Yeah, item four. Yeah, it'll compact. You don't get much big rocks or nothing. Yeah, that's good stuff. Didn't even bang, really. Yeah. Usually they're like bang. Okay guys, so we're taking that item four there. I'm putting it down in here and we're tamping it in layers. That's what that's our first lift. That's just about a whole load almost. Not quite a load. We're gonna tamp that, then we're gonna work our way up with the pipe and stone and get right up out of this clay mess. Gonna need a lot of material in here. Okay guys, this is what we're doing. We put our paper down under it. We got the pipe down through here and we're burying the pipe with the stone. All right, got a 90 here and it's gonna go right down there. It's gonna 90 and go outside and we're gonna switch from perforated to solid pipe. We do have a cap on the end of here. Uh, stop anything from getting in there. That's how we're doing it. Chris and Mike are bedding uh, the subsoil out here so that we got a nice base for our pipe to sit on so it doesn't smush down. And we are tamping that as well out there. We're tamping that right there. And then our pipe drains down. There's a nice pitch to the whole thing. That's how we're doing it. There's our stone pile. All right guys, here's where we're at. Mike's back there tamping uh, that area. Everything's a little bit low still. We're gonna get it tamped and then we're gonna fine tune it. We got our perimeter drain all out to daylight and I buried that. You can see it though. Comes out here. Right here and it runs this way right out and we put stone in here too which will actually pull water and then it runs right out to daylight right there so it comes right out of this corner front corner so and everything's pitching so that's where we're at on that everything's looking good we're going to uh, get this thing tamped and fine-tune it 
There's going to be a section in the back with radiant heat right where Mike's working. So we got to leave that two inches low for our styrofoam board. And uh, that's it. Going to be good. Just had lunch. Customer bought us lunch. That was awful nice of them. I like customers like that. Just if they're even nice. They don't even have to buy me lunch. Just be nice. Most people are. This guy's great. End of day one. We spent nine hours here today. That's what she looks like, all graded. We got our radiant heated piece all boxed in. Everything's tamped. Tomorrow we gotta put some poly and wire and uh, tubing for the in-floor heat here. And the foam and all that good stuff. We had a good day. Got a lot done. Tomorrow I'll, uh, I got the Yan Mini loaded up. Taking that home. And tomorrow I'll get Kevin and uh, Thumper. The big tamper. Got this all dressed off a little bit where that pipe went out. I'm all back blade all this tomorrow. Before we pull Kevin the Kubota out of here. I'm thinking beer 30 guys. We'll be back at it tomorrow. Okay, guys, we're back at it today. It's Wednesday. We are putting poly down, which we've already done. We're putting wire mesh down. Uh, this back section is going to have some uh, two inches of foam on it. And it's going to um, have radiant heat in this section right here. So we're laying the two inch foam in right now. We've got all our poly and wire going down right now. That's where we're at. And we're going to pour this Friday. So today's Wednesday, like I said. Friday, we're going to pour this. So I will get everything on video for you, obviously. But I'll show you how we're we'll running this, um, this PEX tubing and stuff. Okay, guys. I got a new product I want to show you. There's a picture of it. Well, this is it. It uh, we're gonna use it for our infrared radiant heat, so looks pretty nice. And then there's an extender you can get to keep your tubes right up nice and clean. It's a little pricey compared to electrical conduit, but we actually want to in this corner. We want to dive underneath that skirt board because we got. Um, some radiant heat that's going in the other part of this building in the lean two down the road. So we want to be able to stuff pipes up through there. So that was our solution to that problem was to uh, use this easy root stuff. And I'll show you what it looks like. You can cut it. You can cut it between ribs here. I guess we you could use a sawzall or we might try the table saw with it, but um, that's how I'm gonna cut it. But we're going to cut it right now and see how she works. And I'll show you what it looks like. I think it's a nice product. But I'll show you what it, what it all, the way it all comes together. And this extender, how that, how that's going to work for us. We got our foam down. Put foam along the perimeter of it all. And that's going to be for our radiant heat in this section here. Okay, guys. I got the new product here in I really like it um, what we did here is we slid this underneath into the other building I'll show you the other side of it but we uh, you can cut this on a table saw we have the table saw set up and uh, we were able to slice it right off so these two are going this way for this section it's gonna be just one zone 
and then we snuck four lines underneath. Underneath here, that's foam. So we put a piece of foam right where my finger is, and it goes under there. So that got us under the skirt board, but it's also still insulated. So when the concrete flows into here, that's gonna, there's foam underneath that. So that makes sense. They send you these nails and you can nail it right into the foam board. And then we just sent a couple of screws in here. But these things are big. It looks like the tubing will slide right in easy. I'll tell you how they work. We're gonna lay our tube in here in a little bit and staple it down to our foam. I'll show you what the other side looks like over there. That's what we did. We ran the foam right out. So when we put our next piece of foam on, we'll go right around that, if that makes sense. Because this is all gotta be dug out. This grade in here is real high. But he's gonna okay guys, we're getting ready to run our PEX tubing. Um, I got this stapler. I bought it. It's a Melco. I got it from Supply House. PWS one. Pretty nice. We used it on another job last week. Um, our tubing's gonna lay this way. So I'm gonna take and snap some lines on the foam every foot. And obviously we can use the lines every four feet. We can use those lines. So we just have to snap a few between there. And we are going to run. I always like to run it the long ways. This is all going to be just one loop. We're not going to try to break this in half. It's a little bit over 300 feet. So shouldn't be any problem at all. We got our lines in here like I showed you. I'm going to stuff the line right in there. Probably turn here. And start right up the wall there. So we got a roll of oxygen barrier PEX tubing. And we're going to get ripping. I got some spray paint. I'm going to paint some lines on the foam and snap some lines. That's what we're going to do. Huh? We just need lines in between. Well, you did it last time, you know. Uh huh. I should go away. What are you doing? Nice can of market paint. Guys, we are done over here. I just cleaned up the gravel, leveled it out for him. We are ready in here. Everything is ready to rip for Friday. Today's Wednesday, like I said. Um, radiant heat come out nice. We like staple it down now and put the wire right on top of it. Holds the wire up. Holds the wire up a good inch. It stays right where you want it. This thing come out really nice. That's gonna work out good for later. 
And it looks like we are going to be pouring this other lean-to part on this job too. He wants us to continue work on next Monday. So I'll be back here Friday to pour this. See you then. Hey guys, Bondo. March 8th, a little frost on the pumpkin. Me and my buddy Rotor are heading to the job. We got that um, 40 by 64 pole barn to pour. See the window's a little frosted up. Right, Ro? A little cold today, huh, buddy? I guess I didn't realize it was gonna be this cold. I would have uh, come out and thawed the truck out a little better. Gotta get rolling here. Look at the window. Definitely chilly. Of course, these diesel trucks take forever to warm up, don't they, buddy? Bro, right? He is ready to work. All right, Bob. Well, we'll get to the job, guys. See you there. Here come the mud guys, rolling in. And they're actually early today. Got a front loader truck. Those doors, we gotta make sure they're up all the way too. Looks like Travis. Circle T, baby. Hold up, hold up, hey, hey. Make sure you can fit in there. We gotta make sure you fit in there, you should. I'm rolling in there. Bring them in easy. That door's down a little, you know what I mean? Yeah, looks like he's gonna clear it. Take him in slow. Oh, that's always a good thing. I kinda knew it fit, but that door hangs down a little bit. It's got a garage door. We don't have all our help yet, but Mike's just rolling in behind the concrete truck, which ain't good. We've got two other guys that aren't here yet. We're, ripping. We're starting in this back corner here where the radiant heat is, guys. Right there. Shoot that corner. We got the rig. The boys coming. All right here. This could cut his hand the other day. Not on my job though. On a carpentry job. He's got to tape that up. We're gonna rip this out, guys. Stay tuned. Hit the back building. I'm gonna set the machine on the truck back into that corner.
Yeah, but if you call us all in there, just do that. Got a lot of people for that small 16 by 24. Where, huh? Yeah, look at look who we got today. Say hi to the crowd, bud. What's going on? He's got his new hoodie on and everything. It's all my fans. Yeah. I'm doing good. <laughs> doing good. He's glad to be back at it. Go for back in action. We got go for and biscuit today. And biscuit. He's getting skinny. Biscuit. Worked the hard all winter. Looks like Dwight's here with number three right there. He can be rolling in. Look at my truck, my dog's in there. Blocking me. Bro wants to say hi to you, buddy. Uncle Dwight. He looks taller than the truck. He looks taller than the truck. Gotta say hi to Ro. Ro's in the truck till it comes up. That side is, the other side ain't. Ro loves Uncle Dwight. He's a little happy to see you, I think, buddy. <laughs> I don't want to let him out, it's too cold. Alright, guys, Dwight's got truck number three. This mud's starting out at about a five and ending at about a three. Definitely, uh, Tightening right up as we do it here. 
That's all right. That means we won't be here till midnight. Right now they're squaring up this side over here. Like I said, we had a hole there. We fell a little bit short. But we're right on track to 44 yards right now. Yeah. It's been started. Buddy Dwight's mixing her up a little bit. Try to get it at about a five and a half slump. Here comes the mud! Oh, we're having a good day so far. You, yeah, go to, yeah, run down the wall a little bit. We're going to this post. Right there, two poles. Then we're gonna jump over Now I know why you like doing this. This is great. Getting our board in place now. We got Travis back. He ran our first truck. He's back with the last truck. We're getting our boards in. Setting them with the laser. Mike is uh, bull floating. The third truck. And we definitely got enough mud. We got past that six by six right there. That means we're good. We got enough to finish it up. So this last truck has 11 yards on it as well. This gets getting our board set. Dustin's got the laser to check the height. That nice sound you hear. Nope. 
stay tuned. We'll get this last truck in, guys. Hi to row. Hold on, stay right there. I got a key in my pocket. You got your keys? Yeah, hold on. <laughs> I don't leave the keys in it when he's in there if he steps on the lock or something. What? Yeah. Chris, is there more screws kicking around here? Okay, I gotta get my box of screws back. <laughs> I keep stealing Chris's screws. I won't like a couple times. Hey, Come on, get it in. Let's do it. Chris is climbing up there. And he's gonna scale the wall down into the area in the back corner. It's got some netting up here to keep the birds and stuff out, so we gotta move that. I'll catch him going up, and then I'll catch him going in. He's gonna be scaling down that bad wall right there. Don't fall, you're on camera. And then Mike's gonna do the same thing. This is concrete life right here. Concrete life. Chris is out on the second load, breaking that with his new toy, new to him toy. The sun's starting to creep in this front here, as you can see, so that's going to help that catch up. I've been helping the homeowner clean out his lean-to. We moved all the stuff, Kevin the Kubota and some forks, we moved all that lumber out of there. And we're getting this cleaned out. 
and uh, that's what we're doing right now. And we got to scrape all this um, gravel and stuff out of here and get down, get the clay out of here and stuff. It's going to be our next move. And he's actually going to take the siding off of this wall and it's going to go on this wall. So that's how he's working that. Biscuit. How many stitches? Nine? Nine. Nine stitches. Not quite as good as the leg. That one was 13. Yeah. The a little accident prone sometimes. I got 18 heads right here. Yeah. I'll see that one. Right there. I'm going to start calling you Scar. Chris's machine there is running and then stalling and then running. I think, it's, I think we need to clean the carb out with the ethanol fuel that they probably ran in it out of it. That's a whacker. It's in decent shape. Got a pretty good deal on it. Not a bad machine. working on this lean-to and I'm right into wood all kinds of organic crap down below the gravel it's all like pieces of stone and all kinds of crap we're gonna have to dig all this out this whole thing I tried to push some gravel back that was good but we're getting all full of organic stuff yeah, that is really nasty stuff that would have been underneath this floor Definitely can't have that, so I'm going to keep peeling it out of there, see if I can get something decent. So this is the stuff I took out of there. Tree stumps, clay, all organic crap. I'm making a mess. We're going to go get the excavator. And, uh, I want to box that out a little better. It's hard to get it nice with the, with the, es or with the um, Kevin the Kubota. It's hard to get that out of there. I want to get it nice and flat and box it back to about here. Then I'll put that heavy gravel in there so that we got a good base. And then I'll get some fine gravel to top it off. But we're getting down there where we need to be. It's just really nasty. With the skids are turning and everything, it's just punching up that clay. If we get that gravel in there, that heavy gravel, it'll be a lot better. But the clay is not, the gravel wasn't deep enough. Clay is right here. You see where the clay, this is the gravel, this is the clay. So we get down into there, we gotta get all that out of there. Down to this level and then have that much gravel. This whole building should have been boxed out. Um, by boxing out, I mean all this clay should have been dug out. It should have been like two or three foot gravel pad put in here. And that is not what happened, so that's the problem. But we're going to fix it, because that's what we do.
here's the floor guys we're here the next day we're gonna do our cuts everything looks really good we got out of here what time we get out of here 7 30 last night about 7 30 last night we got out of here um, we're gonna get the soft cut out and we're gonna make our cuts and now uh, we gotta snap some chalk lines and stuff the weather's changed quite a bit since yesterday it was pretty nice yesterday this is what we're dealing with today. Absolute mess. It's supposed to snow tonight, but that's our floor. I'll show you what it looks like when we get it cut. Well, our vein uh, is working over here. I'm going to check it when it's raining. It's got water running out of it, so it's doing its job. That's why we did it. All right, guys, everything's cut. Um, we're gonna get the hose in here. Um, not today, we, the homeowner's not here, but we're gonna flood this bad boy and uh, wash everything out and then flood it and keep it wet for like a week, a week or two and uh, wet cure it out. That's gonna be the best way to shut it down. We got all, all the dust we could get by sweeping. But like I said, it just needs to be washed now. It came out really good. I'll show you what it looks like if I can uh, after we wash it because it'll look a lot better than it does right now. Thanks for watching the video, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Um, smash that like button. Subscribe if you're not a subscriber. Leave me a comment, good or bad. That helps us out. And we'll catch you on the next one.